Welcome back to Urban Regenerative Gardening, where I show you how to garden without buying fertilizers, pesticides, how to seed save, how to make your own compost in a bunch of different ways. Um, that'll be your fertilizer. And uh, so here I'm in the indoor garden today. Um, there's my celery, my cabbage, lettuce. Some more celery. My strawberries that aren't doing so good. <laughs> Next generation celery. Some more lettuce. And a potato thing. A flat of potatoes there. And peppers. Pepper plants that are actually getting peppers on them. <laughs> Some nice looking ones on there. I'm really proud of this pepper plant. <laughs> and a big old rosemary bush there. Yesterday I was in the middle of a project here and I got I ran out of time. So this got to be like a part two on this. I'm doing a three. Like I did over there with three. And three. On the top row I put three. Um Came up with a better way of getting it closer to the ceiling. I have to show you here. And, uh, came up with a better way of getting it closer. But, in the process, compared to over there. But in the process, it went all off to the side, but then I figured out how to fix that, so I'll show you what I mean when I put the next one up. Uh, so, this work will be a lot quicker today because I, I got the, I, yesterday I was figuring out how to land, put them up, and now this, this is my second one, so this will be a lot quicker. Two and a quarter, I figured, or two and an eighth, I figured, on each side. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Spilled my, spill some of my water. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> Oops. So I try and do everything in. Take two. Let's see here. So. Two and an eight. Oh, it might be a little bit. And that should be 60, 31 inches. 41 inches. Dry my uh, my uh, oops. tape measure went right into the water, right into the water jug, and knocked the water jug over. Yeah, that's just right. Forty-one inches. Okay, so it's 40. I got it right there. 8 and a quarter, 41 and 2 and 8. I'm going to have to figure out how to drain the water out of this. <laughs> I'm going to hang it up here. I'll hang it up. Hopefully it drains out. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. So that was try to get it in the center because I like I had to drill two holes on each one on each side of there. Get it in 
some sand right here. There, got another one up. But what I wanted to show you is see how it see how it's not level. Uh, if you can see, I think you can tell it's not level there. Uh, I came up with a way to fix that. Over here, I'll show you. It's easier to show on this side. These, even though these aren't as high, these are more level because of the two sides keep it balanced. But this one, see how crooked that is? Uh, see, it's crooked over there. What I did here was, it was leaning. So I just put this, whatever side it's leaning, I pull it, I put a thing here to kind of pull it and straighten it out. And uh, it worked out nice. So I just have to, whichever side is leaning, that's the side where you put the string, uh, uh, the chain on it and straighten it out. And then, uh, This one over here was really bad leaning because of the cord being on the one side and pulling it down. So I did that. I rigged it up there to straighten it out. Just showing you little problems that you might come up with and ways to solve it. So I'll, I'll work on straightening that out now. Show you when I'm done. There, we got that one leveled off. I'm putting these a little bit more farther out from the middle ones than I did on the other. On these guys. And I look at this and I think, yeah, I could have spread them out a little bit. So that's what I want to do over here. I'm going to try spreading them out a little. Uh, I notice the lights look a little bit different color. I wonder if it's just because they're... Yeah, I don't know. I ordered them. <laughs> it's a different order. Same company. They're just a little bit different looking. I actually like the light better. Seems like more of a regular light. Yeah, well, they're yeah, pretty cool. I just noticed that. Anyway, I, I can show you how, it, how I fixed it there. See how I hooked it onto that, and then put it on this hook here, and then pull it. Pulled it in and hooked it onto there is how I did it. I don't like when people don't show the detail of what they do, so I'm just... <laughs> I'm showing you. They're just like, okay, we're done. That's how you do it. And you're like, wait, how do you do that? At least that's what I say when I'm watching a video like that. <laughs> I didn't see how you did that. I'll work on the third one now. I'm gonna get my my wet. Uh, Alright, so I I like the distance there. I was just kind of fudging it in there. Pretty close. Wouldn't that be perfect? But I like the distance between them two, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I gotta get a measurement there between how far these two, two guys are apart. It's gonna be hard to off. So that was like 10, 10 inches from this hook to this hook. And then about 10 and a half out from the wall. That way you got room for your board 
little bit of room to keep it away from the wall there. So I'll go up and mark them on a ten and a half off. Ten and a half off the wall by ten and a half from the, the other hook. Okay, so that was ten ten inches from there and then ten and a half from the wall. Now I gotta go forty one inches that way. Here we are. Ten inches. Where do you want? Not just drill two little holes. And put the hook in there. I notice it's you're better off erring on a little bit on the side of the hole being too small and having to work at it a little bit than you are if you have a too big of a hole there. That's kind of obvious. But those of you who are not like, you know, very handy or whatnot, that's good advice. Because <laughs> um, if it's too big, it won't hold the you'll get a tighter fit if you if the hole's a little small when you're pushing it in it's a little bit difficult to get it started if it's small but it's worth it yeah that's worth it. pushing up on it <laughs> to get it going but once you get once you get it started try to keep it straight too <laughs> okay there we go once you get it started you're good to go that's a nice tight fit there these these lights are really light too. You'd be surprised. Okay, now get the next one ready. Drill the holes in the next. Don't forget the drill and the tape measure. <laughs> Remind you to take these, <laughs> take these little protection strips off, and probably get better light that way. I don't know, the first couple steps, I didn't even realize, I didn't notice I had it on. Them. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this on video or not, because it's kind of hard to hold it still. <laughs> I'll try. difficult holding the camera. <laughs> but we got her.
There it is. I'm sure you that's how you'd get that or done. Get get her done, got her did, whatever. <laughs> I'll do the next one. Try to show it get this on camera where how I got this. How I started it, <laughs> but I don't know. It's very difficult to even Nope, I didn't get it, but uh, there you go. <laughs> you got the idea. <laughs> One side, there it's leaning now. <laughs> side here. Not a lot of room for your hand and stuff there. This one. Okay, now see how much that's leaning because of the weight of the cord being on the one side. I gotta fix that by pulling the opposite side. Yeah, no. Yeah. Gotta pull the opposite side to the. Whatever. No, pull this side. Pull the side that's leaning down. There, you got her straightened out. Pull it. Or pull it to the side that was leaning to hoist it up a little bit. Problem solving. That's good for a man's testosterone to solve problems. <laughs> That's what the guy says on the guy that wrote the book Men are from Mars, Women are from Venus. We need to be setting goals. And accomplishing them and solving problems and we need to learn how to listen to women and let them know that they matter that's what the guy says <laughs> he's a pretty smart guy and so there we go um turn the light on and see how it looks oh, wait i turned them off up there <laughs> I didn't plug that one in. Here it is. Uh, let's see how it looks. Oh, when I pulled that cord over to... <laughs> when I pulled the cord over to... Uh, plug it in, that made it lean. Maybe I can get... Do the same thing on the other side and try to pull it a little bit more. Maybe. I'll try that. Yeah, it did work to straighten it out. Looks a little funny on all them strings hanging. But, uh... Yeah. It's better. It's probably a couple inches higher than the other. Next time I get a long weekend, I'll fix the other ones. If you can see there. That'd be interesting to see. I think it's a good two inches higher, which would be nice. As far as having room to grow there. See, these guys are already getting up. I'll show you over here too. I got a I left a couple of Couple of these guys. Well, I got one here, and I was gonna make another one. Show you guys how to make these. This is an example of like trial and error. It took me, I think, three or four different tries to figure out how to make these. 
I tried duct tape first. My duct tape would just stretch out and wouldn't work. I ended up using uh, that aluminum tape. And I ended up putting the zip ties on the end here. This aluminum tape. Or what's it called? I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Aluminum tape. But it doesn't. It stays put. Works really nice. So these guys, what I end up doing is show you here. Just tear these little guys out of here. I'm gonna get my after all this work this weekend. I'm gonna get that robot in here mopping, let her vacuuming for me. Get my Roomba in here. Oops. Show you guys what I'm doing here. Uh, just picking these little end pieces out of here. These old little pieces and dead pieces. Okay, get it like that. Clean it up nice. And then put these. Now it's gonna be hard to get on camera, but share it up. See how there it is. And then and that keep that makes it grow thicker and straighter. Or they grow more thicker because they're kind of they're shooting up they're trying to get to the light longer thicker more tender ah don't have time today to do it's fairly nice out and i need to get out there and at least spend some time collecting material clean my neighbor's yard up collect material for next year's compost making so i'll have to do another video i'll do another quick video someday when i show, show you how i make these guys I'll do a video on that, like next weekend maybe. But and then I'll do it. I'll get this one. I have two outside still. There's still two plants outside. I could finish these if I had went use the ones that are outside. But I thought, well, I'd do this. But I ran out of time this weekend. <laughs> so that's. That's maintaining an indoor garden. <laughs> That's working. It's expanding and then maintaining an indoor garden. Part two. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave comments. And, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.